Hey guys, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to learn how to host a static website on a Amazon AWS S3 bucket. So the first question is, what is a static website? So I have an article on that on my blog. So that explains what's a static website. So a static website is a collection of pre-rendered and highly optimized static pages and assets that have been generated by a build process prior to deployment. So let me explain you more with a diagram. So this is a traditional web application. So this is the browser which makes a request to the server. Let's say our application is a PHP application. So the PHP server then goes ahead and hits the database, collects the data, and then generates the HTML content on the fly at runtime and responds back with the content to the browser. So there is usually a processing time here. Let me now talk about what's a static web application. So in case of a static web application, the pages that needs to be served are pre-rendered and it's ready to be served. So whenever the browser makes a request to the server, the server just responds back with the content. So usually there's no processing here, there's no database, and the static web applications are faster. So I have a static web application here. This is a website which has been created using Gatsby.js. Now let's say I want to modify the header content here. So I'll go into the application and update the title. So let me say webinar and save the file and this updates. Now let me go ahead and generate a production bundle of this website. So we'll upload this production bundle into the AWS S3 bucket. So this is the command that Gatsby uses to create a production bundle. Meanwhile, it goes ahead and generates a production version. Let me go to AWS console. So let me search for S3 here and click on S3. This will take you to the S3 homepage. So let me create a new bucket and add a name here. So your bucket name has to be unique and you need to make sure that there is no other bucket with the same name because it will be used in the DNS name. So let me try to go create a bucket. It says that it's already there. So let me try to modify the name and say create bucket. All right, so it seems to work. So it's going ahead and created the bucket for me. And this is my newly created bucket here. So let's click on that. And once you are inside, you will have an option to upload the content. So this is where I'll upload my static website. So meanwhile, my production bundle is generated and it's there inside the public folder. So let me go ahead and open this and copy all the content from inside and upload to S3. So I say upload. So it starts the upload process. So it will copy all the files into the bucket. And let's wait for the full upload. All right, so all my files have been uploaded to the bucket. Now the next step is to go ahead and inform the bucket that I need to use the bucket as a static web hosting. So inside the properties tab, you have a option here which says static website hosting. So I click on this and then I select this radio button. So it says use this bucket to host a website. And then I specify the index page, which is my index.html page. So I go ahead and save this bucket. All right, so my bucket will now be used as a static website host. So I'll click on it again, and there's already a URL which is provided to me for my website. So I click on this website, and when I try to access my website, it says forbidden. So we now go, need to go ahead and add some permissions. So for that, I'll go into the permissions tab, and the first thing that I need to do is to unblock the public access option here. So I'll click on edit and I'll uncheck and I'll click on save to a confirmation and done. Now the next thing is to add a bucket policy. So both these options that I have done here will ensure that I give public read access to my bucket. So let me go ahead and add a bucket policy. So this is where you'll add a bucket policy. But before that, I'll take you to a page where this has been discussed. So inside my static website hosting option, I click on learn more. 
So this takes me to AWS S3 documentation. So I can come here and say configuring a bucket. I click on the link and it takes me to a page where I have this link. So setting permissions for website access. So on this page, it actually talks about how you can give public access. So I'm interested in the bucket policy, which is here. So I go ahead and copy this JSON here and I'll go back to my S3 bucket, go inside permissions, I go to bucket policy and paste the JSON. Now the last thing to do is to copy the bucket name from here and replace it in the JSON and click on save. All right, so this has given me a warning that I have given a public access, but that's fine because I want my website to be accessible. Now, let's go back to properties and click on static website hosting and click on my website URL. All right, so now my website is accessible and S3 Bucket has successfully hosted my static website. Awesome, so I hope you found this video useful and you would give this a try. Until next time, see you.